I think my financial aid story is similar to um, many students, especially a first-generation student. Myself, I was a first-generation student. My parents uh, went to community college but did not complete, so I was the first student to go to a four-year school. I still remember very clearly that letter coming to my house, opening it up at the kitchen table, quickly doing the math and realizing at that moment it could happen and it was going to happen. Aid programs are divided into two categories. One is called a gift aid and one is called self-help aid. Gift aid is aid that does not have to be repaid and students either earn it through great merit, such as being an athlete or academic, or they earn it or receive it through financial need. And those are grants and scholarships. Self-help aid are loans and student employment, in which a student is actually helping themselves go through school. And those are clearly marked on the award letter, either saying a scholarship or a grant, know that those don't have to be repaid, and that um, they are monies that go directly to the charges that are billed. And the self-help aid is clearly marked as well as either work-study or loan marked on there. There's a number of different avenues that that could happen. One, we want to know that we are actually working with the most accurate financial picture that a family has. So when you ask that question to us, we will ask a number of things about what's going on in your life. It's not because we're being intrusive, it's because we really want to help. And we want to make sure that whatever we have uh, is the most accurate and we've provided the most eligibility for uh, the student. Also then there are outside scholarships and our website has a great search engine to help you find outside scholarships. Some 10 or 11 tips that help a family and a student complete an application and explore different scholarship opportunities. We receive notices of outside scholarships from a number of different outside agencies. Once our students uh, enroll here and they're matriculated attending classes we often comb through our students to see who could be eligible for those aid programs and send direct emails to those students and say, guess what, we think you could be eligible for this, you really should apply. So that's a level of service that we like to provide to make uh, that uh, additional aid programs available to students. Uh, and that is one thing that we take pride in and we make sure that that happens often. Work study is uh, an aid program in which um, students are able to work while they're in school and they work up to about 20 hours per week and if you participate in the federal or state work study programs any earnings that you have in those programs will not be counted as income on your next year's aid application. So it's great you're able to earn money while you're in school it, it is an aid program and does not count against you for your aid eligibility for the next year. And that is making sure that you review that award packet as clearly as you possibly can. Not only looking at the different aid programs, but the letter in there that there may be additional requirements or uh, outstanding things that the student needs to do. Sometimes a student needs to turn in a form. Uh, often that is called the process called verification, in which the federal government has informed us that we need to verify some information on the aid application. We need to turn that in as soon as possible. Uh, those kind of, kind of information may affect your award and we want to make sure that, that we provide you the most accurate awards that we can. And if you turn all those things in, and we will send you a revised award letter if necessary. Otherwise, uh, you'll receive the award letter and it'll be uh, complete. Your next steps, of course, to accept your admission. And that is available on the admissions website to accept your admission through your advance payment. Here's what I want you to know. Student Financial Services is here for you. Uh, we're ready to take your call, we're ready to answer your email, and we're ready to answer all the questions you may have to ally any challenges or concerns that you have. We know it can be confusing and that's why we're here. And we're available on phone, email, our website has lots of great information with a, and you'll find all our contact information and our smiling faces under our contact page.